What up, Chipper Chaps? This is Chipper Chap Chat episode 134. 134. Oh. I am Furay. I'm Chamba. And we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Let's yes. talk about TV this episode. This episode's TV specifically. Let's do it. Trailers. List. Got a bunch of trailers. Um, first one. Okay, you never read this book. I I'm never assuming. did. Yeah, I didn't either. Only thing I know about it is the uh, My Chemical Romance guy created Right. It. What's his face? Gerard Butler. Gerard something. Way. Um, I, way? All right. I like that. Umbrella Academy. <laughs> that's the that's the trailer. Did you did you like it? What did you what do you reckon? Uh it seems like it seems like his take on the X-Men sort of. Yeah. Um, which I think I'm fine with. I, th I like the, I don't know if I 100% think it was successful, but I like the attempt at the like domino masks with the white eyes. I think uh, it looks neat for what it is. Yeah. I think it's, it's uniform. It gives it a specific look, you know? Mm -mm -mm -mm. And, uh, and it was obviously to me, it's a big get to get, um, Kitty pride. Ellen Page. All right. It's on Netflix. It's going to be on Netflix, isn't it? It's a Netflix one. That's uh, very shortly, I think. Like this week or something? Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be out like like February. Oh, okay. Well, oh. I'm, I'm from this trailer, I was pretty interested in seeing where it's going to go, you sure. know, and see what the, how they represent the abilities they have. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about the characters. Yeah. Uh, I think that the kid that can like travel through time is kind of interesting. Uh, I wonder how that mechanic gets used. Um, See, I, I'm I'm kind of glad I know nothing of this in terms of the source material because right now it's just it's not even a comic book uh, television show. It's just a television show about superpowered beings. Right. Kind of like what was that? Um, what was that? BBC show from back in the day, a couple years ago. What was it called? Misfits. Yes, that. I I'm treating this somewhat like that. Right. Where um, it's, it's yeah. You know, it's super powered. You know, characters, but it's not like based. This one, I mean, because this one is obviously based off something, but because I'm not sure, what, you know, I'm not as familiar with what it's based off. I don't have to tie myself down. Yeah, you're not like yeah. in. Uh, beholden to anything exactly exactly but it looks cool i've uh, also not read it i i know a little bit about it but i've not read any of it um so i feel very much the same way where... i will peep the first episode since it's on netflix anyways oh yeah uh, i re actually really want to watch deadly class as well um that one's produced by the russos and right on, on the sci-fi channel and i believe uh maybe we can include that as well uh, sure, but yeah. I believe there's a link there's on YouTube. You can watch the first episode for oh, free. Oh, what? All right. If we can, we'll pop the link uh, on that. Cause the trailer for that looked great too. I mean, we didn't write that down, but I'm going to write, I'm going to include that in. That, that one looks that, cool. Long in it. Yeah. 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 Or whatever. And the premise of that one sounds cool too. It's like kids who are all taught to be like, uh, deadly warriors or whatever. It's set in the eighties, right? That one. Or no, I believe though but i don't okay but I, for yeah. sure i think it was a period piece it's a yeah, it's period piece um, another trailer but, boys the boys um this one seems interesting it's got your boy carl urban in it yep who's great uh, in most things he's in yeah man been kicking it with that dude since xena yep yeah right that's weird <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird I thought he was so strange looking at Caesar because he had the bowl cut or whatever yeah yeah and I just remember being like focused on how scrunched his face was and right I think it's because the haircut yeah I've never been able to unsee it though he's always been Caesar this whole time to me that was uh, so weird he that he was Caesar that's right yeah. he's always Caesar to me <laughs> he's um, always Caesar yeah I don't know but that one looks but good yeah, that one looks a lot more like a reverent or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's like sort of satirical. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, it looks interesting. We definitely have like a bevy of new shit to try out. I, w I wonder yes. how this will affect 
um, everything the else. Table of shows like the the flashes and stuff like that. When you when you have all these new options that might be uh, a bit less melodramatic and a right. Bit and I, that's that's what basically like to me this the all these ones feel like uh, a breath of fresh air for me. Right. Because Which I, Flash was at first. It was at first, but I got what? bored of it eventually right. when that's all it you became you know what i mean it, it was like it's because it felt like it was that's all it was focusing on mm-hmm. or it was a major aspect of what they were presenting i was just like eh, i don't even care anymore i think i liked flash when it was closer tied to the arrow universe right but once they started separating it, it slightly more realistic right 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 was able to have fun yeah yeah as they like embraced the comic-y nature of it, it was harder for them to do on their budget, and yeah. the stuff got cheesier and it cheesier. Just, yeah, it just felt like like cheese. Yeah. Why is the door still open? Um, <laughs> but anyhow. Um, Hannah. Hannah. I'm, what do you think about that one? I, the, new, the movie, right? Yes, I, I enjoyed that film. I thought the film was great. Um, this one, I'm just like, okay, it looks interesting. I enjoyed uh-huh. the flick. How yeah. can they? I can. I can kind of see how they could expand it as a series, but do I care? Yeah, is mainly the question. I'll probably check out the first episode, see what it's like. I think it's got Joel Kinnaman, right? Yeah, he's the dad. Yeah, yeah. He's great. So, you know, it's a dumb thing. It's a dumb nitpick. But I'm sort of disappointed they didn't continue to make her like an albino. Because like, I miss that. Lucy Ronan wasn't an albino. Yeah, no, no. They made it part of the character, and I thought yeah. that was really visually interesting. I agree. I agree. I agree completely. Because it made her yeah, absolutely like she stood out because of that. Right, you and know? it seems like a weird choice just to be like, ah, eh, fuck it. Uh, yeah. it's just X twenty three now. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. See, X twenty three minus the the double yeah. claws. Oh yeah. man, now it's now it's just that. <laughs> But you know, I like X twenty three. I do good... too. But yeah. I liked Hannah as Hannah because she was very specific. Yeah. But that looks. I mean, I didn't. I didn't ask for a show like this. But somebody obviously was like, "Hey, let's make a Hannah television show." Uh, like they saw some potential in mm-hmm. it. Also, if the uh, did you ever did you watch the killing, the other one that Joel Cameron? Um, on? I watched. Bits and pieces. I didn't see the whole series because I couldn't get access to it. So I only watched like every now and then when they sh- they did show some on television. I'd sit down and watch, and I'm like, this I could get into this, but I'd have to like find a way to actually get access to all of it. Well, I believe that the lead actress from The Killing that was on it with Joel Kinnaman, I believe she's in Hannah as well. I oh, think for she's... real? So it's like The Killing reunion, right? I think she's playing the authority character that was uh... cool. Julianne Lewis or something yeah. like that. Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore. Wasn't it her in that? I think it Anna? was. For some reason that. Yeah, that's, brain... that's what that's why I went to as well. Um, but in any case, uh, yeah, I'm ca- I don't know. I'm vaguely interested. I I I like the movie quite a bit. I don't know if I needed more of that universe without it being the same people. For you sure. Know? But albino aspect is definitely a negative. The fact that they skimped out on that. Right, because it, it seems part of the character as far as I'm concerned, because right. I've seen the movie. But this is for people who maybe haven't. But so. still, like, that's just something to make it a, a little bit more unique. Yeah, visually. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they can do it for fucking eye zombie. Right, still- that's for, for real, for real, for real. Uh, next trailer, uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Man, I was so ready to hate this shit. It looks good, though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it looks really good. Like I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people were upset that it's like, oh, it's not the original guys. Right. But I like that it's not focused on them. It's focused. It's just the title. It the premise is exactly the same, essentially, as in like we're following this group of vampires. Yeah, it's just the you know the UK office versus the American office. They're right. doing the same deal. Yes. It's it's just a new, but they're they're doing the same flavor though. Yes. You know? it, well, because it's the same guys working on it. Essentially, right. it's not the same exact characters, but it's that's why I'm it, like, it looks. This trailer sold me. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. It, and I, they're keeping it like weird and dark too. Yes. So. Well, it, as it should be. Right. As you it know? should be. It, as it, it should it, be. It's on a. 
it's what is the channel that it i it don't know i didn't because recognize the channel <laughs> it was something obscure so i was like huh that's gonna be weird to get access that. to right i hope it gets i hope uh netflix australia managed to get it that'd be good yeah it looks good though it I'm does down. look good did you check the trailer for this one the next one warrior yes what do you think uh this is the bruce lee thing right it's not about bruce lee it's not about Bruce Lee, but it's supposed to be based on his writings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it. I don't know. It looks kind of interesting. I think it I, looks neat. I like the i the idea of doing a. Sh- it, I don't know. It feels similar to. Uh, what was that one that they did on on AMC? Into the Badlands. Yeah, it feels similar to that. Not as outlandishly right, styled. Right, right. But it feels similar to that in them going like, oh, we want to do a martial arts show, but we're yep. going to have like mix of uh, like uh, Anglo faces. And sure, Asian. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, Eurasians and whatnot. And so I don't know. I th- I think I it looked neat. I, I can't tell if it's that I think that it looks good or if I really liked Kung Fu Hustle. That's That's the vibe that I'm getting. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right I love it's... Kung Fu Hustle. Right, I love so, that whole mixing of those with, that like, dress shirts. Yeah, and... I think that's that's so gangster. Yeah, it's cool as shit. I just don't. I, I just don't know if it'll have, if it'll if it'll keep me without that flavor that right, Stephen. Right, sure, sure. Chow, the Stephen yeah. Chow flavor, which is the whole humor aspect behind it. Right. Yeah, I don't it's know interesting it'll... though. I, like, I didn't know about this show at all until I just stumbled upon the trailer. I was like, "That looks interesting. I'll write that in." Yeah, the uh, I had not heard of it at all. Yeah, I didn't I either. In the show notes, so no. I thought it was interesting. I I'm curious about anything that's going to try and implement a martial arts based mm, 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 mm. Uh, thing because I love to I love to watch that. I grew up watching that stuff. So I, but it's also I feel like there's not good there's not good versions of that coming out now right like, you only get the straight to netflix ma- you know made for tv budget kind of martial arts movies now there's not a lot of we don't have like a tony jaw doing big stuff over here in that no movie. um like on netflix there's a couple of like foreign films from like indonesia and singapore and stuff like that that are legit did you but see... they're still foreign films, is you know what I mean? Did you watch the the night comes for us? Yeah, I I got everybody to watch that together over here. Not what'd too you long. think? It was good. It was awesome. Yeah, it was way more violent than I. Oh, was expecting. that thing was violent. Yeah, I was it... like not expecting that level, but it was brutal. It was brutal. The fighting was because it's like hitmen or whatever. These guys I are... loved it. I it love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple uh, of other films that the same guys work work on, and yeah. most of them are bloody solid. I just really don't get how those guys are not being tapped. I don't know, dude. For cinema here, like not know. to put them in stuff, but go one with... of them is actually starring in Warrior. Uh, which one? Main dude. The main dude from. The one that you just mentioned. Oh, the night comes for us. Yeah. So he was he was like a side guy in the raid. Yes, exactly. Whereas the main yeah. dude in the raid was a side guy here. I said in the right. like, yeah, which was cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, I did. I like that they flipped yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I also like they put that dude, the um, Tony Jaw looking one from the raid. They put him in some movie with uh, Lauren Cohen, and it was like an action movie here in the states. Oh. I didn't end up going to see it, but but I heard that they like they wasted him and like cut up his action scene, where it was like stupid, like you know how they cut action movies here, where Dude. it's like um, they didn't do any like in camera showing him do wicked stuff, and I'm like, don't don't just put them in stuff and then do it your way. Put let, them in stuff. Let them do it their do it. way. Yeah, it's let insane. them do it their way, because it's. That's the reason why it's dope is because they did it. Yeah, man. Yeah. You don't just get them because they're capable of doing it. Don't get me right. wrong. That's a good thing. That you know what they're capable of. But then why don't you utilize that? Yeah, I agree. Utilize it. 
But yeah, that's that was interesting. The next one, random. You found this. Don't know how you found it. Uh, Abby's. Yeah, this one. I don't even. I don't even remember how I found it. To yeah, be it's just, you, you, you basically just told me it's like, dude, check this out. All yeah, right, check it out. It it immediately gave me like a sort of cheersy vibe, but it's like at a bar that takes place outside in someone's like backyard it's an illegal bar it's an illegal bar in someone's backyard mm-hmm. um and it's and filmed outdoors it's filmed in outdoors front of a live yeah. audience yeah so it seemed really interesting yeah. um I'm, i recognize a bunch of the faces there yeah the only one i didn't recognize was the the lead abby oh she's from uh parks and rec <laughs> okay see i haven't yeah, watched yeah. Parks. she was a second like she was a, a supporting cast Okay, she looks like she's related to Rashida Jones, kind of. Okay, but no, I was well, like, it's an interest. It looks interesting. I'll, you know, if I get, if I've got access to to see where this is at, then I'll probably check out a couple episodes or so. Yeah, it looks funny enough on its premise alone, and I love, I love when there's the chance of people messing up and stuff like that. Like when they started doing. Do you remember about Undateable? Uh, that yeah, I was just that was what I was bringing up when they started doing Undateable Live. Dude, it became amazing. It was so much better it was so much better. i like the show i i really enjoyed undateable generally yeah i like then it. when it became live i was like this is such a missed opportunity yeah man. because they only did it because they they found out they were going to be canceled right and they were like let's just give it a shot and it had such a randomly good cast like Dude, Ron was great on Carl it was chris great chris delia was awesome there yeah. uh but yeah abby's looks it's, random it was random but interesting we're putting all these links in the... Yes, the they should all be there. They should all be okay. there. And the next bit of uh, television is the Hulu thing that you just typed in. So, Oh, yeah, the Hulu news. So Marvel just announced that they're doing, uh, I guess, four solo Hulu series, but they're animated and uh, mature audience themed. I don't know if that means that they'll be like full on nudity or cursing or something but i imagine it will be more mature themed than so the something t- like um big mouth on netflix <laughs> probably not that bad oh but, that would be amazing <laughs> but i am i don't know who knows with howard the duck how right. first one of them's howard the duck and remember uh, the original howard the duck movie had some uh nudity it it had pu- it had puppet nudity. <laughs> <laughs> it did there was duck boobs at the very beginning uh, so that. Um, but it's the that lineup is bizarre. It's Howard the Duck, Modoc, uh, Tigra, and Dazzler. Random. Are, yeah, and I like some of those. Like Dazzler is confusing to me. Why that would even need to be adult themed? Adult themed thing. Oh, and one of the other ones was Hit Monkey. Oh right, okay. And you said like it's gonna cross over. Yes, and then at the end, after they do uh, Howard the Duck, Modoc, Hit Monkey, Tigra, and Dazzler as five separate series, then they are going to somehow combine to a show called The Offenders. And that one will be like a crossover thing. Uh, I don't know do what to you- expect. I don't either. The I know that the Modoc one has... Um, Patton Oswald is involved. Oh, and Howard the Duck is produced by Kevin Smith. Huh. So keeping Kevin Smith in mind in his humor, okay. uh, I imagine a Howard the Duck being uh, pretty ridiculous. I don't know if that means that they're going to get uh, Seth Green to reprise the voice because he did the voice for the MCU. Right, 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 right. I'm just curious what this is going to look like. Uh, Yeah, they they post. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if the these artworks that they posted are official. I have to imagine they are. Like, but will I'll... it look like, say, the current Marvel cartoons? I imagine or will it be more like cartoony, like, say, Teen Titans. Ooh, I don't know. I I, I could I, see Modok and how the duck looking like that. I think it'd be interesting if they don't all have the same style, like uh, the Spider Man deal. 
into the spider verse in a sense yeah. keep them all different i think that'd be way more fun because as a crossover it'd be funnier to look at <laughs> for sure you know what i mean um but yeah kevin smith's doing howard the ducks okay. um somebody from squidbillies was doing a thing oh and willis the guy that's co-producing howard the duck with kevin smith is uh dave willis i don't know who that is he co-created um aqua teen hunger force okay and squidbillies and for adult swim uh and he's like a voice actor so i imagine he's one of those characters from cool. aqua teen um so that combination kind of might give you an idea of the feel of the uh, humor, at least. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Modoc is the one with Patton Oswald and one of the guys that works on uh, the Goldbergs, something like that. Oh, I like the Goldberg show. Um, Hit Monkey will be written by Josh Gordon and Will Speck. These guys, are, they did like Blades of Glory and Office Christmas Party. I never saw Office Christmas Party. Like, it's, wanna... it's what? It's a movie. Oh, so Tigra and Dazzler are one show. Okay, that makes more sense because Hit Monkey is its own show, right? Hit Monkey is its own show. Who's doing Tiger and Dazzler? Um, that one is being done by Chelsea Handler and Erica Rivanoia. Um, Rivanoja or Mivanoja worked on Girls Trip. That was very popular. And Last Man's on Last Man on Earth, some South Park stuff. Okay. And who's doing Hit Monkey? And Hit Monkey. I don't know. What the hell could Hit Monkey be about? I don't know if that can sustain a whole show. To Hit Monkey is as a side character in Deadpool. Right. So that's why I'm like, how could are these going to be shorts, animated short series? Like, are these going to be like 15 minute length episodes or is it going to be a full 30 minute episode? Don't know any of that stuff yet. Because I could imagine these being like five minute shorts that are compiled essentially into like a larger format. That'd be cool. But I think, I think if they're doing them on Hulu, they're doing series, man. They're trying to. Mm. They're I have trying no to... idea. This one. I, again, I'm also finding it's bizarre. Is Hulu owned by Disney? They are, but apparently the reason why they're doing them on Hulu is because of the it's mature. adult. I see. So because Disney's everything, everything Disney is general. general audience. I see. I see. That's I see. I also find that weird, man. It's like you you do all this stuff, and it's like you can't even have it all in that network anyway. So what's the point? Well, I don't know. Because I don't know. I, who knows until that stuff actually comes out. Because with the Disney thing, you can just easily set up the whole age restriction stuff and have everything under the umbrella of Disney anyways. Just like Netflix does. Exactly. I don't know. It's bizarre. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if it'll stay that way. It might just be a thing where those series are going to be done before Disney is ready right. to expand. And there's that. even no, uh, no news on when that thing's going to come out, right? That Disney... I don't have any news on it. There might be something available, but I don't have any news on right. it. At the ready. That's it for television, though. Yeah, so that pretty much covers it then. There's what are you no... guys looking forward to television-wise, people? People watching this? Yeah, still watch it. Is anybody still holding on on Flash? Is anybody still holding on on the Belantiverse? It still seems like it's doing well. They're doing Who's crossover. watching Gotham? Yeah, it's Gotham's final season, so... I know they're it, going balls to the wall. I know that at least one of the four people in this house watches it, and okay. it's not me. <laughs> Do they like it, the person that watches it? You'd have to assume, right? Yeah, I guess if they're still watching it, that's true. You'd have to assume. Um, But yeah, I think that one that covers it for this episode. Television talk. So until the next one, guys, stay chipper, chaps. For stay chaps. Chip off. Chip off. Chip off. Chip off. Chip off. Ooh, that was creepy.